Coach Wilkes, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me. I know it has been a very busy few days since being named interim head coach. What was at the top of your priority list since you got the call? I think it was really just trying to make sure that everybody was aligned. When you take over a team in mid-season, uh, you know, trying to really bring everybody together on the same page and really trying to implement your philosophy in a short period of time, I think is like important but also crucial. What is your philosophy? You know, my philosophy is, is number one, is that, you know, I want to have an open line of communication with everyone. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to understand they have value within this organization. All right, we always talk about, you know, many parts, but one body of work, and really you can't do it without everybody. You know, offense, defense, special teams, whether it's video, uh, IT, you know, the football staff, we're all in this together. And, you know, I, I imagine you told the team a lot of that when you talked to them for the first time, but considering what a week it's been, what else did you tell the team when you got in front of them and addressed them? Well, the one thing that we can't do, we can't look behind, mm -hmm. you know. We're sitting here one and four, we understand that. But right now, I wanted them to create the mindset of being O and O, all right? This is a new season for us, you know? And I gave them an old cliche that, you know, sight is totally different from vision. You gotta see past the difficulties. And if we listen to everything on the outside, you know, well, we're not a good football team, we last in this category. We got a lot of talent in that, in that locker room. And it's my job to figure out how we can get that talent to produce and we're gonna make sure that we try to start this week. How is this team's vision as it stands here today? How do you assess that? I thought we had a great day of practice, changing the mindset of putting pads on on a Wednesday, we would normally go Thursday. Uh, my philosophy is everything starts up front, offense and defensive line. So with that, you know, we wanted to put the pads back on, create a mindset of running the ball, stopping the run, and we had great energy today. Well, you just mentioned, let's talk about the defensive line. Um, that would start with your new defensive coordinator, Al Holcomb. I know you guys have uh, quite the history together with the Panthers and the Cardinals. Why was he the right man to be your defensive coordinator? Uh, I, I believe in, I say, uh, active a champion, how I live my life, accountability, commitment, and trust. And he's a guy that I know is accountable. Uh, he's committed to his craft, and I definitely trust him. Uh, and he was with me in Cleveland as well. I brought him along as a linebacker coach. So, he understands my philosophy and the things that I believe in, so I feel like I can be out of that room and know that my voice is still being heard. So how long have you two known each other? Uh, I came here in 12, he came here in 13. Oh, wow. Yeah. And just to see where you guys have been all together. Um, offensively, you're retaining the same staff. What in your mind does this offense need to do to turn things around? I think, once again, as I talk to, to the uh, team, I wanted to minimize the volume and maximize the execution in all three phases. I think. Uh, when you look at what we're doing, I like what we're doing. Uh, we need to simplify things to make guys go out and play faster. Uh, and sometimes it's really just the illusion that you're doing more by window dressing things. As I know from a defense perspective that we get a lot. It's the same play, but it looks different. So it's just that element of trying to change things and uh, really putting guys in position to be successful. I couldn't help but notice that David Tepper in his press conference called you a leader of men. We've talked a little bit about your leadership philosophy, but how do you lead this team through the rest of the season? Um, by really exemplifying what you're about. You know, I talked about an act of a champion, you know. Uh, I got to be accountable, you know. I got to make sure that I'm committed and that commitment is going to show through the staff first, which is going to filter downstairs for the players. And I think when you do that, you build that level of trust. And uh, being authentic, uh, being honest and upfront with the guys, I say this all the time, they may not like what you say, but in the end, they're going to respect it when you can always just be honest with them. As we look at this week, you are in the midst of game planning. You are, you know, deciding what you want with your staff. How do you keep it all straight? <laughs> well, I, I think the, the biggest thing for me right now, I just draw on past experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, having previous head coach experience in Arizona, uh, there's certain things that are going to come up that doesn't have anything to do with football. You know how to channel that energy in the right place and then get refocused. So. Uh, that's why I really reflect and draw back on. And you came here this season, you returned home this season. What is it about this organization? Obviously you've been here before for quite some time. This organization, this city that drew you back to the Panthers. Well, um, I, I never sold my house here. This is a place where uh, I felt like I was always gonna come back and retire. Uh, I have a lot of strong love and passion for this city and this community. Uh, I've been around here since, uh, you know, in 95 when we first got the team. So 
I've always joked about uh, I have two favorite teams when I was with another team. I say, well, whoever I was working for at that time and then the Panthers. <laughs> so now I just have one favorite team. It simplifies things. Yeah, it does. But uh, just being back home and having my, my family, my kids, and just uh, one central location. I think a lot of times when this in this profession, uh, we move around so much and we really don't know the impact that it has really on your kids. So I just wanted to bring them back home and get them into a, uh, a familiar environment. Did the renters leave the house in good condition when you got back to you it? You know what, to be honest, we never had renters Oh, in there. hey, there you like go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is great, yeah. Coach. Thank you so much for the Thank time. You. As I, I said, it. I know this has been such a busy week, but we really appreciate it. Thank you.